Hi, it's Tony from Sailing LRA and thanks for joining me once again. Tonight I want to talk about the Water Snake Venom transom mounted trolling motor and in particular battery usage. I have some figures that I'm pretty keen to share with you uh, and I hope that you might find these interesting. This is not a scientific study. Uh, I'll be using some anecdotal uh, information as well as some figures from my home charger and uh, rather than sharing reams and reams of useless scientific figures um, I'll be using real world type of uh, information for you. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for joining me once again. So let's talk about an average weekend. And as we do, we can see some footage from the past weekend uh, that shows a very, very loaded little boat being pushed up against a stiff southerly uh, with absolutely no problem at all. So on average weekend, um, I arrive at the wharf on Thursday evening and head back home around noon on Sunday. LRA is about 250 metres from the wharf and depending on the wind, uh, a round trip takes about 12 minutes on the three speed setting and around eight minutes on the five speed setting. That's end of the wharf to the boat and back again. Um, some weekends I work on projects, others I don't, but on average I probably do three round trips. One to load and unload, obviously. Uh, one to drop off rubbish bag mid-weekend and usually one to get some fresh muffins. I also spend an average of around an hour puttering around fishing and exploring. This usually includes extended periods of top speed to get to and from the boat uh, from the fishing areas that I'm uh, heading to. So working on averages, I use the boat motor for 1.5 hours. I use an average speed of three. The boat is partially loaded and let's call the tide and wind neutral due to the various directions of travel. When I get home, I plug the battery into my Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger, the 12 volt version. Uh, the history page in the Charger's app shows me how many amp hours have been replaced. I prepare the battery the same way every time and leave it disconnected when not in use, so I'm comfortable in saying that the starting voltage and level of charge is on average the same every time. Now I appreciate that some people might say that I should do this and do that and compare this and that etc. But the point of this video is that I'm an average boater and I do what other average boaters do. Um, these are not scientific tests. And, uh, they're not performed in a lab. I'd, I'd rather spend my time boating than in a lab generating data. Here we can see an example from the charging history. The figure we'll work on is the charge, which equates to how much topping up the battery needed. And here are my results. First weekend there, 23.6 amp hours used. The second one, 27.9 amp hours. Now I'm not surprised that's a little bit higher because I actually ran a small portable fridge off that battery for three hours on the way home. So that would account for those extra amp hours used. Now this third one isn't actually a full weekend. I just had to pop up to the boat briefly. This accounts for three round trips with the water snake on full blast. It was raining, so I didn't want to spend too much time in the boat. And our fourth and last figure is from the past weekend and we can see there 26 amp hours even. So what's the verdict? Well I have to say I, I'm incredibly impressed by how much power this water snake does not use. <laughs> um, if we're working with averages like we've been doing the whole way through we're just under 26 amp hours for an average weekend. I know we've only been using a few uh, weekends to, uh, to judge it with but they are my average weekends. I thought I was going to be using lots more power and in fact I've created a small charging rig that includes a solar panel and a charge control and a power head coming out to an Anderson plug uh, that I can use in the, in, in the little boat and I, I uh, thought I was going to need to use that but um, nowhere near it. 
um, what size battery are you going to use? Well, of course, that's completely up to you and your and your uh, individual usage. Um, as stated in my first review of this product, I use a 100 amp hour battery, and it is a lithium battery. Uh, I was very interested to get um, some comments from one of the viewers, Rob. Uh, with regard to lithium batteries and the water snake. So on the first part of my water snake review um, there is that thread, that conversation thread, so feel free to have a look at that and join that conversation if you would like to as well. So my verdict is that uh, so far incredibly good, um, very low power consumption providing all of the uh, power I need for my tender craft work uh, and I have nothing but good things to say so far about the water snake venom 44 pound thrust thanks again for watching please remember to like and subscribe